Hello, and welcome back to our English lesson with passengers, where we'll pick up some life wisdom from the bartender. This scene has got it all. Slang, idioms, and even a little philosophy. Let's watch and learn. You're screwed, Arthur. Completely and ridiculously screwed. Come on now. Every cloud has a silver lining. Every cloud has a silver lining. This means there's something good in every bad situation. For example, if you lose a job, it might be sad, but it could also open up new, exciting opportunities. I'm screwed. Screwed means in big trouble or a very bad situation. If you forgot to study for a big test, you might say, I'm screwed. You're screwed, Arthur. Completely and ridiculously screwed. Come on now. Every cloud has a silver lining. Guess I am going to die of old age on this ship. Die of old age. To live so long that you pass away naturally when you're very old. For example, my grandma wants to die of old age at home. Guess I am going to die of old age on this ship. Well, we all die. Even androids end up on the scrap heap. End up on the scrap heap. This means to be thrown away or seen as not useful anymore. People often say this about broken things or sometimes even people who are no longer needed in a job. Well, we all die. Even androids end up on the scrap heap. I'm your only customer. Why are you always polishing a glass? Trick of the trade. Trick of the trade. A helpful tip or special skill for a job. For example, a cook might have a trick of the trade for cutting onions quickly without crying. I'm your only customer. Why are you always polishing a glass? Trick of the trade. Makes people nervous when a bartender just stands there. So lay some bartender wisdom on me. I'm lost in space here. Lay some bartender wisdom on me. To lay something on someone means to give them advice or information. Bartender wisdom here means clever, simple advice that a bartender might give. Like, keep things simple. So lay some bartender wisdom on me. I'm lost in space here. I'm lost in space. This doesn't mean you're actually in space. It means you feel confused or unsure of what to do, like when you're in a new city without a map. Yeah, I'm lost in space here. You're not where you want to be. You feel like you're supposed to be somewhere else. <laughs> you said it. Well, say you could snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. This means to do something very quickly, like magic. Imagine saying, I wish I could snap my fingers and have my room be clean. Well, say you could snap your fingers and be wherever you wanted to be. I bet you'd still feel this way, not in the right place. Not in the right place. Feeling like you don't belong or something doesn't feel good for you. For example, she felt she wasn't in the right place in her job, so she changed careers. I bet you'd still feel this way, not in the right place. The point is you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be. Hung up on. To keep thinking about something that bothers you. If a friend didn't text back, you might be hung up on it, constantly checking your phone. The point is you can't get so hung up on where you'd rather be that you forget how to make the most of where you are. Make the most of where you are. This means to enjoy or get the best out of your situation, even if it's not perfect. If it rains on vacation, make the most of it by finding fun things to do inside. That you forget how to make the most of where you are. What are you telling me? Take a break from worrying about what you can't control. Take a break from worrying means to stop thinking too much about problems and live a little. 
means to relax and enjoy life. Take a break from worrying about what you can't control. Live a little. Live a little. You did a fantastic job. If you'd like to support my channel, consider buying me a coffee. It helps me create more free content like this. See you next lesson. Bye.